we're gonna do a 4.7 right now. 4.7. What we need to have is very important is the bender, the conduit, we have to know the obstruction, how big is gonna be the obstruction. Today we're gonna have obstruction wide of 10 inches and as well uh, tall of 6 inches. That's gonna be the obstruction first. The first step is gonna be measure the conduit. Let's find out the center of the conduit and then we're gonna start from there. The center of the conduit is gonna be the, the length of the conduit is 75.5 inches, which means it's gonna be three feet and a uh, six feet and a bit. Then we are gonna just divide in 75 by 2, it's gonna be 37. 35, 70, 37.5. 37.5, that's gonna be the center, all right? Makes sense, that's the center. Then we stated that the obstruction is gonna be 10 inches, which means we have to step into 10 inches distance here. All right, number one. We measure five on side, five on other side. That's right. That's perfect. To measure the 10 inches. And then what we need to do? Very, very important. Make just the market all the way around. Because you have to twist this conduit all the way. Wow, 180 degrees. We have the the markings to the side, then we have to understand what is going to be the obstruction. Obstruction is 6 inches, which means we have to understand what is the multiplier. Multiplier is 2, which means we are going to multiply 6 by 2 and we are going to just mark uh, from band 1 to band 2. What we are going to mark? 12. That's right. 6 multiplied by 2 is going to be 12 inches. That's making sense, isn't it? That's going to be 12 inches. And then, what we have to understand, if we go to band 3 towards band 4, and what we are going to have? 12 inches again. What else we are going to do now? We are going to mark it all the way around. We are going to rotate this on it. We have 12 inches one side, 12 inches on the other side. That's right.